Tonight, good news for those of us who are hoping to live long and prosper. According to new data from the United Nations, there's almost 90,000 people who are 100 or older living in the U.S. That's almost double the number of centenarians compared to just 20 years ago. Reasons why are a little more complicated. Person to person, uh, a lot of different factors play a role, including how long your parents live, genetics, even location where you live. But overall, scientists say improvements in public health are helping people live longer, along with lifestyle changes, with more people, say, quitting smoking. Now, that still comes out to just one in 5,000 people who live to see their 100th birthday. Some experts compare the milestone to hitting the genetic jackpot. But if that's the case, then the story you're about to watch is the equivalent of a married couple both winning separate jackpots in less than a month. Here's Kent. It wasn't your average morning at Main Street Village of Richfield. The dog over there wonders what's going on. Yes, service dogs and service members were there to celebrate a milestone so big it even caught the attention of those in public service. My name is Mary Supple. I'm the mayor of Richfield. Oh. And on behalf of the city, we wanted to wish you a happy 100th birthday. Thank you. After enlisting in the Army during World War II, Barrett Hoagland says he never expected to celebrate no. a 100th no. birthday. I never even dreamed of it, that that would ever happen. I was just felt well, like I was plain lucky that I was alive then. And yeah. now he's feeling even luckier to be joining his wife in the Century Club. Yeah, that was something we didn't figure out at all. Retha Hoagland turned 100 exactly two weeks earlier. It doesn't happen very often, I'm sure. <laughs> Betty Hastenstab is also sure it couldn't have happened to a better couple. Well, they deserve it. It's wonderful. But they're just the neatest people. How long have you been married? Oh, about uh, two years. <laughs> oh, so you're, you're newlyweds then. That's good. Not exactly. Retha says it really started shortly after the war when she thought she was taking a quick trip to Minnesota. We had a mutual friend and we met through that friend. What was it about him that made you want to stick around? <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. It just w it worked out that way. I, I don't remember. It certainly did work out. The couple was married on August 9th, 1948. Just what I was looking for. <laughs> Meaning in a few months, they'll celebrate another cake-worthy milestone, 75 years of marriage. I can't believe it. 94-year-old Lorraine Fierro can imagine hitting 100. I'm 97, so. So can Phyllis Marks, but 75 years of marriage? Absolutely oh, not. No. And if you're wondering their secret, in addition to taking care of themselves, they say they never forgot to take care of each other. He's pretty patient with me. <laughs> uh, they just be kind to each other. Timeless advice yeah. from a truly timeless couple. Kind of hard to believe it's been so, this long. In Richfield. Evidently it is. Kent Erdahl. It, it means a lot. CARE 11 News. The Hoaglands did not have kids, but they've done plenty of celebrating with their nephew and extended family over the last month of milestones. And as Kent mentioned, they plan to celebrate that incredible anniversary on August 9th.